Welcome guys to Calva Ranch. Today, we're gonna shoot three of my favorite long range rifles. One's a 6.5 Creedmoor, one is a 300 Win Mag, and the other one is a 308. Now, all three guns I like for different reasons. This one particularly, that's in here. I've had a couple of gun courses, sniper courses for long distance, for movers at 500, 1,000 yards, movers at 300. This gun is my baby. So let's go see how she does. Here we go, guys. Ashbury 6.5 Creedmoor with a Smith and Bender scope. Of course, I have to have it suppressed with a Surefire. And today, I'm gonna show you how much I love this gun. We're going to shoot at a 500 yards, and then maybe for shit and giggles, we'll shoot the uh, Texas Star. I'll show you how it works. Jim, what are we looking at, Matt? So at the front target, here's 100. Then you go 200 about where the Texas Star is. Then about 240 with the miscellaneous targets with the dueling tree. And way back at the back, you'll see it right behind those trees is the 500. The mile, we don't have set up yet, but that's coming. And we're shooting this one at what? 500, and then we're gonna go for the Texas Star. All right. I just adjusted the scope of two mils to hit the 500. So let's make this shit happen. Hit. One. Look at that fly, dude. That's a dragonfly. Hit. Ah. Woo! All right, good stuff. How'd it feel? Tell us about it. This is great. I love shooting 500 yards. I'd just rather have a mover at 500. A little bit more exciting that way. All right, what we got, Matt? Right now, we're gonna shoot for the Texas Star. Now, I did it before. Of course, nobody was here watching. The wife was in the cabin, so she didn't see shit. <laughs> what just happened? What the hell just happened? The chair snapped in half. <laughs> What's that tell you? It's a plastic chair. <laughs> As I was saying, I've done this before. Of course, nobody was watching, but I'm gonna see if I can duplicate it. How far is this star? Uh, 200. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, make it happen. We believe in you, Matt. Miss. It's like a four inch plane. Woo! Got it! I pulled it. Dang, let's go. Woo! That's all of them. Granted, I missed a couple, but I got all the star. That was a, what you got <laughs> dialed though, man. Those things were falling. Oh yeah. Especially the mover. I like it when they're moving. It's much more fun and exciting. Good Told shooting. Told you I could do it. Good shooting. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, riding down Santa Claus Lane. I shot it, I, did, I cleared a Texas Star with a shy tech Is that that's, impressive? That's really impressive. I think that's really impressive. It would be I can't do it with a pistol from 10 feet away. So. First of all, it wasn't a shy tech but yeah. I mean, I agree, it's very impressive. Which kind of thing is this? That's an Ashbury. Ashbury Precision Ordnance out of Ruckersville, Virginia. They're obviously that's CIA agents. That's my first agents. gun that I ever hit a thousand yards. <sighs> eight, uh, I think it was like eight. You know those ones that are like robotic, that they like, they dial everything up for you and it's like, I can't remember what it's called, but that was my first thousand yard hit. They like dialed it up and I didn't even sit down, I just pulled the trigger. <laughs> Ding! This video is sponsored by Mantis. This is the Blackbeard training tool for the AR-15. The Blackbeard auto resets the trigger so you can practice dry fire scenarios without racking the bolt. You just replace the bolt carrier group and magazine and you're ready to go in under 30 seconds. It makes dry firing my rifle completely safe because it physically cannot be loaded with rounds and the trigger reset is so cool. I get to practice with my actual trigger pull and reset every time I pull the trigger. Guys, it shoots a laser so I can make sure I'm training with a purpose and hitting my target. I can also link it to the Mantis Laser Academy app to run drills. It saves me a ton of money and ammo and keeps my skills sharp. If you want to grab yourself a Mantis Blackbird as well, there's a link in the description below. Next gun 
is going to be a 308. This I bought this year, I believe. It's becoming one of my favorite guns that I shoot. So let's go try it out. I'll tell you what it is when we get up there. What's it called? I can't tell you that. I can't get up. You can't tell me what kind of gun it is. I'll tell you when I get up there. Okay, but it's a 308. It's a 308. Is it a Remington? No, it's not a Remington. Is it a Ruger? It's not a Ruger. Is it a Christensen Arms? It's not a Christensen. I don't know any of them. Everyone you mentioned though that I own. Is it a Nemo? It's not a Nemo. Yeah, because Nemo's are semi out of there, super fun. Lots of magazine capacity stuff. There may be a Nemo in the truck though. Here she is. BNT 308 rifle with the Schmitten Bender, of course. I do have the factory suppressor coming. It's in paperwork jail. I hope to get that this month or next month so I can really enjoy it. But today we're gonna see if we can hit some dingers at about 240, 250-ish. Let's try it out. Dingers. Dingers. Go Everybody some likes dingers. dingers. We're gonna shoot at plates that go big and then go small with this gun. We're not gonna shoot the Texas Star or anything like that. We're just gonna go see how small of a plate I can go with this sucker. So let's find out. Hit the wrong target. Go for the big target. There's the big target. Hit the small target again. Go hit. Hit. Go even smaller. Go hit. hit. Really small. I think that was a hit, right? Sounds like a hit. I don't see it moving, but... I'm gonna shoot it again, just to make sure. Yep. Good hit. Smaller. Short. I already drove that one wrong. Hit. Oh, I'll move one around. All right. The BNT. How was it? BNT. They make such good guns. Damn it. Once I get the suppressor, I'm gonna work with it a lot more. I can't go wrong with this gun. I mean, it's like a, you know, they're made by the Swiss. Damn. It's like their watches. Smooth as butter. They're really made by the Swiss because the Swiss are kind of like decidedly non-violent. Made in Switzerland. Yeah, they don't really violent people. Good point, they aren't. Okay guys, here's the next one. I got this about, maybe about a month ago, and I sighted in probably about two weeks ago, and I love the way it shoots. It's a blast to shoot. So I'll surprise you when we get up there. Tease us with what caliber it is. Well, I'll tell you this much, it's 300. I won't tell you the last part. Give me a bunch of 300 guesses. 300 Nosler, 300 Mossberg, 300 MPG, 300 Win Mag, 308. Here we go. Let's see if we just get this girl out. Got a little bit of a weight to her, but that's okay. Sword International 300 Norma. Piece of a gun I got. Sword International. Yes. I have another gun through them in semi-auto as well, and 338 Lapua. So this is a 308 can, obviously, from SOCOM. Sorry, from Surefire. And when I shot this, I shot it without a can first time, and that was a mistake. She's a boomer. She's a boomer and she's got weight on her, huh? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Big guns need loving too, right? Say that again, Johnny. What's your favorite scope? You have all the nice scopes, all the scopes that I'll never really touch. Uh, What's your favorite? What's the good one? Schmidt and Bender is my favorite. Schmidt and Bender over Schmitten. like Night Force and... I mean, I've shot with Night Force before. Swarovski. I've shot with both of those. I just, you know, once you stick with something you like, you don't want to change. Yeah. So that's the reason I usually just go Schmidt and Bender. It's just easier. All the guns are the same, so I can just I don't have to worry about dialing or anything else. I know what the Schmidt and Bender does, so I don't have to worry about learning a new scope. And I shoot everything in mills anyway. What? Yeah. Uh, the other question I had. You put the can on. You said this is a 308 can, obviously. No, a 338 can. Yeah. It's it's not a 308 can. Nope. It's 338. I swear you said 308 can, obviously. Nope. Uh, anyways, why is that obvious? 
For for me, who I don't own a suppressor, why is that obvious? Because if I put a 308 can on it, the can will explode. Because That's what I was. So this round is bigger than a 308, or what? Yes, it's got more balls to it. What's this round called again? 300 Norma. 300 Norma. Yeah. Did Norma create that round? I don't know. You'd have to call and ask her. So when I shot this, when I sighted in, I never tried it at 500. So now we're gonna give it a shot at 500 and see how it does. I'm sure it'll do fine. Not too worried about it. But sword does this whole deal charging the bolt. I like this kind of thing. This is pretty sweet. You can press it down. I can do it. Stop being... It's kind of tough. Probably needs broken in before I keep doing that. I kind of dig it. All right, so we're shooting at 500. 500. Let's Make go. it happen, Captain. It's a little low. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Way low. <laughs> it hit. I heard it. I hear it smack. Target every time. I don't know if we trust you after that armor plate video. I don't know if we trust me either. It was a hit. It would not make that noise hitting dirt. <clears throat> kind of like that. What sound does it make? You sure you're not hitting? I'm not hearing are, the ding. Bro. I'd hear the ding. Johnny's saying he hears a ding I'll every time. I'm sure. Time. I'm watching it hit short. I'll watch, I'll watch. I'm not only listening, but I'll watch because I'm hearing it. All right. Sometimes in life you need to wear a stretch pants. Hit! Okay, I heard that I one. I know where I was aiming. Okay, three of my favorite rifles. Love them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe. Love you. Take care. Yo soy del barrio.